What is going on, you guys? It is The Talking Sasquatch. Great to have you back. So I have to admit, it's kind of a weird video because it's a Monday. I did a video yesterday, but things have happened recently that I really thought I should talk about. So this isn't going to be like my normal videos with as much editing and stuff. It's just going to be kind of a story time. As many of you have heard by now, extreme firmware for the Flipper Zero is now officially over. Clara, who was the figurehead of the entire project, has officially left, and there's really nobody left to run the project. Now, I know there's going to be a ton of speculation and a lot of questions that you all have. So I figured this is a good time for me to kind of give the story that I know about XFW. Now, I'm not claiming to be an expert saying that I know everything about it, but I got to say I was there pretty much when that project started. At that time, actually, Clara was hanging out in Rogue Master's uh, Discord, and she was actually one of the people who recommended he started a Patreon. Now, this was, I want to say, December of 2022 or so, and I actually started talking to her in the Discord and invited her over to my Discord. Now, one thing about Clara is that Clara drives engagement. I mean, people pay attention to her. There's a reason that XFW started the way it did and got as popular as it did, and it's pretty much because of Clara. Now, Clara is a great project manager, but she is not a great dev in C. We'll get back to that later, but it's important to differentiate those two skill sets because you can be very good at one and not super great at the other. It's totally fine. Now, when Clara was in my Discord and the Rogue Master Discord for that matter, she was kind of working on trying to make some asset packs for Rogue Master at that point to kind of create her own kind of small version fork of the Flipper Zero firmware. My understanding was it was kind of a pet project and it was mostly supposed to be animations and things like that just to make a little bit more adult oriented version of Rogue Master. But initially it wasn't supposed to be anything more than really an animation pack, things like that. However, after talking to some people in the Flipper Zero sphere like Uber Guidos and some other kind of more known people in Flipper, she decided that maybe she'd throw her hand in of making an actual fork of Rogue Master. So that's what happened and she started making her own firmware. Uh, I was there trying to help her out as much as I could. I have a relatively limited understanding of coding for C, but I had a pretty good understanding understanding of at least where things were inside the Flipper Zero firmware. I was also able to help by making a lot of the animations that came out in the first version of XFW because she had 30 animations she wanted to have for every single level, which is pretty ambitious. So then on December 18th of 2022, the first version of XFW was released. And at that time, it was kind of refreshing to have a new player in the game. At that point, there was really only Rogue Master and Unleashed for custom firmwares. There was things like Muddlebox, and I actually was working on Squatchware at the time, but it was really not going anywhere. And then I released my first episode of Flipper Zero News. Actually, I guess this is technically my second episode of Flipper Zero News, and that was on XFW. It was at that time of about a month or maybe a few weeks after the first release that she decided she no longer wanted to be a fork of Rogue Master. I think it was actually rebased to Unleashed for a short period of time, but then eventually just got rebased to straight up official firmware. So it was just a straight up fork of official firmware. She pulled a lot of the ideas and features from Rogue Master and Unleashed and kind of put it all into the XFW base. And then all the excitement around the first release of XFW, it basically brought a bunch of new devs in and a lot of new energy. Now, I honestly can't remember all of the early on devs, but I know Amelia was one and there was, there was a few. Now, as I said earlier, Clara was actually a project manager for the whole thing and had everything out on a whole like dashboard. It was actually kind of impressive to see, but there was a lot to do and knowing that it's a voluntary thing with devs, especially when it comes to custom firmware, it's a little hard to get the things done that you want to get done if you're not able to code them yourself. So devs would come and go, and basically the project was still kind of just an outline for how it was supposed to be in the end. So that's when Willie shows up. I actually remember the day that he hopped into the XFW Discord and was posting stuff about some of the projects he was already working on. Actually, I think one of the first things he posted was just a dead sec theme that he had been working on, which actually I think he's still using most of those assets today. Don't quote me on this. I know this was a long time ago, but Willie was a very talented C dev. Now, for those of you who don't know, the Flipper Zero firmware is written mostly in C and not many people really know how to write in C. From my understanding, it's actually relatively, not even complicated, but different. It's got a completely different syntax and structure than a lot of the other languages that people already know. So then Willie came on as a dev and that's when things really started to go fast. So as Clara is the leader and Willie is the dev, they were able to go over and make some really cool stuff in the firmware, making it completely different from every other firmware. They added features and UI enhancements that really made XFW a cut above the rest. Every other firmware, including official firmware, pulled things from XFW. Now, obviously at the same time, XFW was pulling from the other firmwares as well because it 
it's open source community. That's kind of the beauty of the whole thing. If somebody comes up with a good idea, you are allowed to use that idea on your project. So honestly, it can't be understated how important XFW was for the popularity and a lot of the hype that was around Flipper Zero. So yeah, 2023 was just basically a grind from beginning to end, adding more and more features, making XFW a better and better firmware. But with all of that hard work and all of that grind, it definitely took a toll on the XFW team. Now, there was definitely some interpersonal stuff going on there, but I really don't want to get into that right now. I don't really want to muddy the waters with any of that. It's all perfectly searchable information it's all on discord so if you really want to do a deep dive it's all there at least at the moment when i'm filming this but in the beginning of 2024 willie was asked by clara to leave the xfw team so that's what happened willie left and he started his own firmware momentum he took the code that he'd written from xfw and started working on his own projects with it and developing it in the way that he wanted to he also started his own discord which is actually really cool anytime anybody starts these small discords it's great to see him grow but in the beginning there's something magical about like a 400 person discord with all your friends and he really wanted this to be a learning discord a really welcoming community for anybody who wanted to be excited about flipper zero and momentum and that's where he is now he's working on momentum he's got his dev team they're making new and new advancements honestly right now they've got the most advanced flipper zero firmware at least in my opinion so if anybody's asking where to go after using xfw my recommendation is go check out momentum or if you haven't used any of the other firmwares go there and then after willie left XFW was kind of left without a developer. Now, admittedly, I'm not a C dev, but my understanding is that Willie's code was something that really Willie was the only one who knew how it all works. Now, I know Clara was working with other devs like MMX and some others trying to figure out how to reclaim the XFW code so that they could really work on it in the future, but it's been a struggle. So here we are about six months later, and there's really been no releases. There have been a couple small dev releases, but really not that much new code and that's got to be hard something that you built from the ground up but you really can't keep working on has got to be a bit of a struggle and honestly it's got to kind of mess with your head a little bit so claire quit now i'm not going to try to speculate as to all the reasons why clara left and called it the whole project over but that's what happened she quit the discord she had one of her bots ping everybody and then basically burned all the merch and called it a day she says she's not looking back, she's only moving forward, and I mean, I get it. Now, I'm not getting into politics or anything like that, but I mean, I can definitely understand the feeling, and watching something like that die is pretty sad. But yeah, that's it. As of July 28th, 2024, XFW is over. Now, is it possible that somebody steps in, or maybe Clara comes back? Who knows? But again, right now, that's all we know, and it seems to be over with. So really, I guess I'm making this video because I guess it's kind of a eulogy to XFW, and I happen to know a lot more of the story than most of you might. I've been getting people asking in my comments and DMing me on Discord asking me what's going on, so I figured, hey, I'm a YouTuber, I might as well make a video about it. And honestly, I did debate whether or not to make this video. I mean, I went back and forth on it a lot, but I think it's good to set the record straight and to give people the full story, so at least what I understand is the full story, so at least you kind of know what's going on. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I know this is kind of a weird style video it's just me kind of talking and explaining things so thanks for watching as always please make sure to like comment subscribe it helps me out a ton you guys are absolute legends we'll catch you next time